I need to do this video. I'm a dog mom to a very needy little dachshund. No, okay. Claire, also known as the Rusty Ranger. I am a high fashion model, piano player, a writer, and a huge mental health advocate. I have finally found a way to bring all of those together, actually, using the OnlyFans platform. It's been really cool to be able to post a lot of my music or my blogs, different writing, and just to share my story with everybody. It's just an incredible feeling. I always loved reading. When I was a kid, I was always reading so many different books all the time. Like that was just what I did. And I loved getting lost into different worlds. And once I realized that I could create and write my own, it just became amazing. dogs that I have right now, my dogs are Rue and Robbie. They're both miniature dachshunds. Rue is eight years old and she is cream dapple dachshund. And then Ravi, he just turned a year old this past week and he is a red-based brindle. So if you're like into dog breeds and colors, you'll get what I mean. If not, you'll just see them and you're like, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> to work for Oscar de la Renta. That was amazing. Before the show started, I had a chance to try on all of my shoes. My shoes were way too big, so I stuffed them with tissue paper. My dresser took the tissue paper out of my heels, and I didn't realize it until my runway director was like, okay, go. You know, like, it's my turn to walk. As soon as I start walking, I can feel my shoes, and I can feel my right one is like clapping. I just stepped out of my heel and I kept walking, but then I walked on the ball of my feet. So like I still had a heel on in one shoe. <laughs> and then on my way back, I just really casually picked the shoe up and then just like kept walking. That was one of those like, damn, I felt really cool moments because like I was able to keep my cool, still like show the look off and keep walking and acting like nothing had happened. And I just, I felt so amazing. felt like mental health wasn't something that was being addressed enough in anywhere. I don't want anyone to ever feel the way that I've felt. By sharing my experiences, I can help others who might be struggling with comparison and depression and feeling like you're not worthy or good enough or apathy or whatever it might be, and hopefully inspire everyone else to share their own unique talents and interests and to be true to who they are and to keep going. Top three, breathe, quiet your mind, turn off all the noise, and practice patience. I know that healing is not linear. Just be yourself. You can look at other creators for inspiration or ideas for what to do, but just show us what you're about. What's your niche? What do you love? Like what makes you unique compared to everybody else? The other thing is consistency. If you're not consistently trying to connect with people and chat with them, respond to messages, comments, emails, if you are not able to keep with consistency, you're not gonna be successful. Try to be unique. You do need to have something that makes you stand out. That's something that I learned working in the modeling industry. There are hundreds and thousands of very beautiful, beautiful people out in the world, but, and that's it. You're pretty, but what else do you have to offer? That is the place where you are going to see me in my most raw and open form. I am here to talk about, like I said, the nitty, the gritty, the goods and the bads, everything about life, modeling, mental health, animals, Star Wars, and also share my really goofy, creative, eclectic life with you. I hope to see you there. Let's have some fun. Let's grow together.